Tsunamis start small but watch out. When they hit land, they make big trouble. Let's learn the basics before we meet the biggest wave monsters ever, Mega Tsunamis. The word, tsunami, comes from Japan. Su, means harbor and, nami, means wave. Long ago, fishermen came home to find their villages gone. Even though the sea looked totally calm. Tsunamis are like ninja waves, quiet and sneaky in deep water. But when they reach land, they grow super tall, get really loud, and crash everything in their way like giant watery bulldozers. Tsunamis zoom across the ocean at 500 miles per hour, just like an airplane. But when they reach land, they slow down and grow super tall. A surprise giant wave that comes crashing in. Before we meet mega tsunamis, check out the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami. It wasn't the tallest, but it was one of the deadliest, over 230,000 lives lost across 14 countries. Mega tsunamis are monster waves that make regular tsunamis look like puddles. They form when cliffs crash down or space rocks hit, and they can grow taller than huge skyscrapers. Now that's wild water power. In 1958, a huge rockslide hit Alaska's Latuya Bay, making the tallest wave ever, 1,720 feet high. That's bigger than a skyscraper and higher than a mountain goat's lunch spot. In 1954, a giant iceberg broke apart and caused huge waves, like a mini mega tsunami. It didn't destroy anything, but it sure gave penguins and scientists a big, cold splashy surprise. Finally, 66 million years ago, a giant asteroid hit Earth, sending 300-foot mega tsunamis racing across the oceans and wiping out dinosaurs. From tiny harbor ripples to huge space rock waves, tsunamis are Earth's way of saying, I'm in charge. They shape the world and never ask for permission, they just go ahead and make a splash. Thank you for watching, do like and subscribe.